looking to learn how to build wide gap shooting floors? Well, look no further. Today, I will be demonstrating a simple tutorial on how to build and combine the three most common types of shooting floors. Timestamps and builder sanctuary codes are in the description, as well as some bonuses at the end of the video. Starting up, we have the double triangle gap. Start by placing three triangles like so. Then build two squares out with a triangle at the end. Now break the foundations behind you. Build a half moon back with a triangle at the end pointing towards the base. Then place four triangles on each side, creating something that looks like a wrench. Break the foundations as followed and upgrade the rest to metal. It's important to choose metal to protect your shooting floor from easily being soft sided. Place double door frames on the inside of the triangles. Put half walls on top and then more door frames until you're half a wall away from your shooting floor. Then upgrade the metal whenever possible, but for now you can still use stone. Go to the top floor of your base and create a shelf like so. This will allow you to create the wide gaps. Go back out and place a floor to the right, connecting to the base and the other to the door frame. Replicate this on the other side when you're done. Place the window frames on top of the door frames, and then put embrasures in. You're almost done your shooting floor. Now to create ceiling peaks in case someone gets on your shooting floor. Start by placing half walls on top of the window frames. Finish the inner portion of your base, and then place a roof over the shooting floor, connecting to the main base. This will get you a gap allowing to kill enemies inside your shooting floor if they manage to breach in. Your shooting floor is now complete, finish your roof and upgrade the remaining stone to metal when possible to increase breaching costs. Next up we have single triangle. Start by placing three triangles out like so. Go two square foundations out and end in a triangle. Break all foundations behind you. And then do a half moon back with a triangle in the end. Place two more triangles like so, and break the previous structures. Upgrade the remaining triangles to metal to prevent easy soft siding on your shooting floor. Build the scaffolding up by placing wide door frames on the inside of the triangles with half walls on top. Then, more door frames up until you're half a wall away from your shooting floor. When you get the chance, upgrade the metal, but it could stay stone as well. Go inside and place a shelf so you can place your ceiling through the wall creating your wide gap. You can break the shelf after. Place window frames on top with vertical embrasures inside. Here's a short preview of what your wide gap should look like. Place a half wall on all the window frames and finish the inner portion of your base. Then, place the roof over the shooting floor connecting to the main base. This should make a peak allowing you to shoot people inside your shooting floor in case of a breach. Your shooting floor is now complete and you could upgrade your roof now. Once again, upgrade all remaining stone to metal when possible to increase breaching costs. Now, square gaps. Place four foundations like so, with the last being centered with the base. Build two square foundations out and end with a triangle. You can now break the previous foundations behind you. Build a half moon back with a triangle at the end with two square foundations connected to it. Place two triangles between the squares. Add two triangles to each end. Break all foundations as followed and upgrade the remaining four triangles to prevent soft siding. Build the scaffolding up by placing double door frames inside the triangles with half walls on top. Then, more door frames up until you're half a wall away from your shooting floor. Once you can, upgrade to metal, but for now it could stay stone. Go inside and make a shelf like so. This will allow you to place ceilings through the wall on the outside, creating your wide gaps. 
place window frames on top of the scaffolding and mount vertical embrasures to them. Here's a quick preview of what your wide gap should look like. Place a half full on all the window frames and finish the inner portion of your base. Now, place a roof over the shooting floor connected to the main base. This will give you peaks inside the shooting floor in case of a breach. Your shooting floor is now complete. Finish your roof and then upgrade the remaining stone to metal when possible to increase breaching costs. As a bonus, we have flat gaps. Start by placing two triangle foundations like so. Then, go at six square foundations and end with the triangle. Destroy all the foundations behind you. And then, do three half rooms back. Then, place a row of triangle foundations like this, break all the foundations behind you, and upgrade the remaining to metal. Once again, use wide door frames to build the scaffolding up, half walls on top, followed by more wide frames until you're half a wall away from your shooting floor. Upgrade to metal whenever possible, but for now, it can stay stone. Make a shelf on the inside to place a ceiling through the wall and make a pattern like so based on the length of your shooting floor. Put your window frames on top of the scaffolding and fill it in with embrasures. Fill the gaps with siren lights to avoid falling through or people laddering in. Here's a preview of what your gaps should look like. Build half walls on top of the window frames, and then finish the inner portion of your base. Place the roofs over the shooting floor like so, and put siren lights between them so people can't ladder through. Your shooting floor is now complete. Upgrade to metal whenever possible to increase breach cost. However, siren lights are a weak point and is the main reason I don't recommend this type of base. Last but not least, we have the combo. Here we have a square with a double triangle. In every combo, you want to start with the triangle footprint as it makes it easier to create the squares. Start by doing the triangle footprint by going three triangles out, the third being centered with the base, then two squares out, ending in a triangle. Placing more triangles on this side makes an incompatible gap. Now break all the triangles behind you except for the footprint of the double triangle. Watch carefully as I demonstrate how to make the square gap using the triangle's foundation. Just like that, you've completed the combo gap. Build a shooting floor respective to each combo's type shown earlier. With the shooting floor now complete, you can upgrade it to metal whenever possible to increase breach cost. Here's a quick preview of what the peaks should look like. As a second bonus, we have externals. For square gaps, place a square and triangle foundation like so. Then, make a Pac-Man-like figure. Break these two foundations, but don't break or upgrade this triangle. Upgrade this outer triangle to metal and the innards to stone. Connect the base and gatehouse together by using double door frames. Upgrade to metal and then break the twig triangle. Build the inside of the gatehouse like so. Upgrade the stone and don't forget a roof.
burnish the inside and then head to the exit. Now to build a disconnectable TC. Go out with a half moon ending in a square and place two more triangles like so. Upgrade everything on the first to metal and the second to stone. Place two half walls facing towards the base like this and then normal walls ending on a door frame. Place the TC on the metal foundation and then close it off using a window. Then you can put a door or garage door in the double door frame. Don't forget to add a ceiling. Now to make the disconnect. Follow the pattern we came out with back using floor frames. The middle frame will not place unless you are two frames out on each side. Then upgrade the metal. If your base gets raided and your TC gets destroyed, this will protect it from anyone replacing your TC and ceiling. If you want to replace your TC, simply break the connection using a Reflexo. And when you're done, replace the frames and upgrade them back to metal. And you're good to go. For both triangles, it's even simpler. Rebuild the Pac-Man figure and break the first two triangles. Then, connect the remaining foundations to the base with door frames like this. Now, build the gatehouse and the external exactly as shown previously. Just like that, you know how to build wide gap shooting floors and externals. I uh, hope you learned something or at least enjoyed my video, and I, I really appreciate all the support I've been getting recently. Uh, I did not expect my videos to blow up this fast and this quantity of subscribers and people watching. Comment what you want to see next and like and subscribe to help me blow up more. Uh, you, you guys are awesome. I hope I can keep making content for you. Till next time. Take care.